is a distinguished gentleman, a true triple, quadruple, 8XL OG of the game. And he pinned the bad boy. That's got to be eating away at Joey Janela. And now a guy who, in this building, he's fought uh, Joey Janela and JT Dunn have tangled before. And they've, again, no love lost here. It's, it's broken down. It's gotten very violent between these two in the past. And shake. Well, whatever animosity may, may be in the past at this point. Or just beneath the surface. True. Time Be will tell as they lock up. Beneath the, this thing. Yeah, Dave. Between the, uh, beneath that calm veneer, as you know, Janela is quite prone to violence. You can see here meticulously plucking at the fingers. Janela really is a mastermind of this wrestling game. And, uh, he needs to get on the winning page, yeah. man. As you pointed out, uh, the loss to Mike Jackson and the loss to Sawyer Reck. And Sawyer Reck and actually Mike Jackson couldn't be different as far as being competitors. Right. Sawyer Reck relatively new to wrestling and incredible. And she, she beat Janela in the biggest win of her career. On the flip side, actually Mike Jackson been around the block a few times. Been around the block, made his New York debut yes, last night. finally, after 50 years <laughs> in the biz. And wa not only walked the entire top rope on all four sides, but also the barricades surrounding the ring in New York City last night. They yeah. lock up once again here. It's Joey Janela grabbing a side headlock here on JT Dunn. Yeah, actually Mike Jackson is so old school, he would have to write his school assignments on a shovel and chalk or coal <laughs> or whatever was the fashion at the time. Walked up a hill both ways in the snow. Yes. Now JT Dunn whipped in by the bad boy. Janela wisely steps back, back on the attack. Quick cover. It's the legs of Janela bridging up to avoid the pin. Into the corner goes Janela. JT Dunn charges in. Janela up and over out of the corner. Same can be said for JT Dunn. Trying to sweep the legs of Dunn, but he stays on his feet. Leapfrog from Joe. Oh, oh, and a big fall from JT Dunn. Levers the bad boy. Absolute facial destruction and rearrangement on the bad boy. Man, JT Dunn is something else. And Janela through the people now, trying to shake off the effects and take another look at that exchange. Big Whoa. forearm just took him off his feet. It had a bit of a roll to it as well, added to the momentum, the velocity. <laughs> Taking the time to smile for the people. Of course. This is a match I've very much been looking forward to since it was announced. And I think when Joey Janela uh, was first announced for this match, he was in a totally different mind state. He had a totally different outlook on life and wrestling. Oh, God damn. Went for the chop, but Janela moved, and he just met nothing with that steel post. And the faces of the fans closest to that action, their faces tell the story of hearing that hand of JT Dunn just careen off that solid steel support beam. Now, same position, Janela throwing the chop, and Dunn unable to move. JT Dunn in anguish as the fans watch on. The bad boy highly motivated to win. Less than Joey Janela wants to be on his fucking losing streak. <laughs> Dunn able to connect with that boot. And once again, going for another, but Janela's got him this time. Danger, oh, that post. Taking its physical toll on both wrestlers. Janelle is not done. The edge of the ring as well. The lower back of JT Dunn just power bombed against the edge of the ring frame. From pillar to ring frame, the bad boy Janela unleashing a biblical style beatdown here on JT Dunn. Give Janela his flowers, Dave. So they're chanting his name. Is that not enough? It would seem like it's enough, but not for Joey. Another look right into the ring post supporting the uh, this building. And this is where it gets crazy. Power bombed right on the edge of the ring. Lower back of JT Dunn has seen better days. Oh, my God. God. Head first. That was like an X factor on the edge of the ring super, on that side. Super violent vertical X factor. <laughs> Good God. Amazing that JT Dunn was able to take an offensive flurry like that from Janela and then just turn it right around and get on the attack on the Asbury Park native. Maybe sending a bit of a message because of using the X Factor. Indeed. Sean Waltman's maneuver. Gets a near fall, does JT Dunn, but Janela kicks out here. A crazed Janela kicks out. JT Dunn. 
it's been a long time coming, as I said earlier, for someone who's been such a standout, someone who's so talked about uh, to elude, uh, if you will, a GCW ring. And now, whatever, here we are. It's got the barriers are down. JT Dunn's getting his opportunity, and he's showing improvement in there with the bad boy. You know, GCW traveling all over the country. It's always good to have the uh, top local competitors be added to the card every step of the way. And if we were coming here to Providence, it only made sense to have JT Dunn as a part of the festivities. A true, true standout. And that crowded GCW roster and locker room just stuffed with stars, stuffed with talent. God, JT Dunn throwed first onto that second rope strand. Janella gets behind him, release German. He's back on his feet. <laughs> the bad boy absolutely crazed. He can sense it. He can feel the victory. He can almost taste it. The fans are giving him his flowers. This is everything Joey Janela's wanted. He didn't want that. Big no. clothesline from Dunn. Turns, turns him inside, inside out. out. Yeah. Going for maybe a brain buster, but Janela nails a fisherman buster here on Dunn. Janela not too quick to capitalize here, but does go for the pin. Only two. You got to wonder, could Janela have gotten three if he stayed in the hunt and stayed on that pinfall? You know, in addition to the uh, upcoming uh, live events that I already mentioned, uh, July 15th, GCW is back in Los Angeles. The 17th, back in San Francisco, California as well. We return to the showboat in Atlantic City the 13th and 14th of August for homecoming weekend. And then the weekend after that, we're back in Charlotte and Atlanta. Going everywhere, GCW. Indeed. The bad boy stomping the life out of JT Dunn. And from the looks of things, it looks like besides the chest of Janela, which is inflamed and beat red from those chops, it looked like Janela caught one or two directly on the sniffer. On the, on the sniffer, that's the technical term. Yeah. Janela's nose, as you can see, just either caught a, a punch, an elbow, a boot. He's a big, uh, big uh, Rudolph fan. Yeah. No brandy sifting for Joey tonight. He's going to have to rest his sniffer <laughs> until he's in action <laughs> again. And Janela recently made headlines. In fact, last night, uh, signing to appear uh, in matches for DDT Pro Wrestling over in Japan. So we look forward to Joey touring Japan and the uh, chaos and uh, uh, stuff that will come from it, the media coverage, I'm sure, the viral incidences. Everything Joey Janela does makes headlines in some, Indeed. some form or fashion. It makes someone mad. It makes headlines. And as you can see why, Janela so tough, just like JT Dunn. They're both standing and absorbing everything their opponent has to offer. Oh, oh, huge, another huge forearm from Dunn. But Dunn still feeling that attack from Janela. That was something else from JT Dunn. Comes charging at Janela, right into the release German suplex. Janela one step ahead, but Dunn's back on his feet. Janela's a madman. Both of them with maniacal smiles on their faces, firing each other up. Poison fucking Rana, Dave! Right on his head went Janela. Janela taking a moment to adjust his own vertebrae. Not recommended by doctors anywhere. I didn't know it was that easy. Just slapping the taste out of one another. Just paintbrushing each other. Shot after shot. Done! And Janela going to war, center ring. Another big forearm from Dunn, rolling elbow. They collide at the same time. As Nick Gage mentioned last night, that word survive, etched into that canvas by our friend Dave Cole. And it's never been more true. These guys are just fighting to survive at this point. This ain't the TOS, it ain't COS, but it is GCW's I Never Liked You. A mid-ring collision, both competitors down feeling the effects of a hard-hitting battle. Trying to pull it together and continue to fight. It's a long way to go. Check out our friends at GCWmerch.com if you 
want the latest and greatest. They're always doing new drops. Janella back on his feet, as is JT Dunn. Big boot by JT Dunn with the head of Steven. Some confidence, he got cut off. JT Dunn, neck breaker with Janella in the ropes with that added elevation. Janella's just dead weight. Only two. That's just instinct. It's got to be uh, instinct at this point for Janella. Janella is stunned. Take a look here, Dave Prezak. JT Dunn nails that kick perfectly. And now he's got some confidence. But can't get too confident when you're in there with the bad boy. Ended up in the ropes and done. Good in innovation right there. Grabbed hold of the head. Got the neck breaker while he was tied up in the ropes. Absolutely devastating. Headbutt to the lower abdominal region of JT Dunn. Palm strike. A disrespectful sort of palm strike, if you will. Awkward position here out of the apron. Joey Janela's insane. No! Neck first. Neck first. First on the, the ring fuck? frame. That was crazy, Kevin Gill. He's bringing it back inside. Janela going to the top rope now. Every wrestler at the gorilla position is losing their shit. Janela, double stop to the guts of JT Dunn. Is that all she wrote for Providence's own? No, he's still in it. Dunn somehow able to oh, kick out. Go. Look at this, right on his neck. Ah! On the edge of the ring frame. But it wasn't enough to put him away. Janela, though, in control of the match. Insane, absolutely insane. I hope JT Dunn goes for a full medical evaluation following that. Able to connect with a kick on Janela. Or at least that stuff where they put the cups all over you. One or the other would probably be sufficient. <laughs> Good God! That could be it! Janela's down for the count! Two! Somehow he kicks out. Dunn can't believe it. JT Dunn, no stranger to Joey Janela. But in their time, in the time apart since they've last met in a ring on the Independence, obviously a lot has changed with the bad boy. Stronger, tougher, and, and more full of himself, more confident than he's ever been. And that's saying something, because Joey Janela has never been short on confidence. He's measuring him for these shots now. JT Dunn. As Janela telling him to bring it on. Oh, man. Dunn got those hands. Janela got those hands, too, but they're, you know what I mean? Yeah, it, it hurts, hurts you. Hands. It hurts your feelings as opposed to your bones and your face. Head goes JT Dunn. That's gotta be it. No! He kicked out. JT Dunn is still in this fight, and the bad boy can't believe it. Janela rolls to the floor. Let's take another look after that disrespect. JT Dunn blocks the cutter attempt. And Janela turns it around. Dunn takes the ride. I can't believe what we're seeing. Dunn is hurt, clutching the back of his neck, and Janela going underneath the ring. It's the oh, first. No. I think that's the first chairs that we're seeing utilized on tonight's card. He had to push the people back just to get under the ring to get the stuff, to get the plunder, to access the fuckery. Two chairs. Let's see what Joey Janela has in store for JT Dunn. Placing the chairs, facing one another. Oh, no. He's going to go straight through the steel. They're overlapping one another. JT Dunn may have taken years off his career in what's been, happened to his neck in this match. And Janela seems to want to keep this going. You talked about there being no animosity between these two. There's something beneath the surface here, at least, because well, they Janela's had the taking this. He had the handshake to start the match, but there's clearly animosity between these two. Indeed, deep-seated animosity. The bad boy. Look at how those chairs are even positioned. Yeah, they're, That's... they're overlapping. Oh, but JT Dunn trying to get the advantage. Wait a second. He hit Janela low. 
Watch out! Tombstone pile driver! Not the chairs! Jesus fucking Christ! Cover! One, two, three! Up. What the? What, what in the that? world? How did he kick out? A super tombstone pile driver right through those two overlapping chairs, and he kicked out. How in the world? The replay told the story. Joey Janela, no way any human could continue, could stay in a fight at this time. Dunn just waiting for Janela to get back up. Oh, super kick! Two, three, 